Hello everyone. Today you will need to tear out pages 525 and pages 5 or page 527. Today's lesson is lesson 9.4 Compare fractions. Essential question. What strategies can you use to compare fractions? First we're going to unlock the problem. Luca and Anne are eating the same size small pizzas. One plate has three-fourths of Luca's cheese pizza. Another plate has five-sixths of Anne's mushroom pizza. Whose plate has more pizza? So we are going to circle the numbers you need to compare. Well, we need to compare three-fourths and we need to compare five-sixths. How many pieces make up each whole pizza? Okay, well, for the cheese pizza, we have how many whole pieces? Pieces? Four. Four pieces. For our mushroom pizza, we have six whole pieces. Compare 3 fourths and 5 sixths. Missing pieces strategy. You can compare fractions by comparing pieces missing from a whole. Shade 3 fourths of Luca's pizza and 5 sixths of Ann's pizza. So we'll shade 3 out of 4. 1, 2, 3 out of four of Luca's pieces and five out of six, one, two, three, four, five out of six pieces of Ann's pizza. Each fraction represents a whole that is missing one piece. So, we know that since, since one sixth, see, one sixth is less than one fourth, a smaller piece is missing from Ann's pizza. If a smaller piece is missing from Ann's pizza, she must have more pizza. So, Ann's plate. has more pizza. Reason abstractly. How does knowing that one-fourth is less than one-third help you compare three-fourths and two-thirds? So, since we know, since I know, one fourth is less than one third. I know, <coughs> excuse me, that for three fourths, a smaller piece is missing from the whole than is missing for two oops for <laughs> two thirds oops so three fourths is greater than two-thirds. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you all can see better. There you go. So Morgan ran two-thirds of a mile. 
Alexa ran one third mile. Who ran farther? Compare two thirds and one third. Same denominator strategy. When the denominators are the same, you can compare only the number of pieces or the numerators. So, because the denominators are the same, like we talked about in previous lessons, if your denominator is the same, you can compare these because they are equal parts. So, is one less than two? Yes. So we know that the greater sign's pointing this way, so two thirds is greater than one third. So who ran farther? Morgan. Morgan ran farther because she ran two thirds of a mile, which is greater than Alexa's one third. We're going to turn the page over to page 526. Miss Davis is making a fruit salad with three fourths pound of cherries and three eighths pound of strawberries. Which weighs less, the cherries or the strawberries? Compare three fourths and three eighths. So in our last problem, we did the same denominator strategy. Now, here we're going to look at the same numerator strategy. When the numerators are the same, look at the denominators to compare the size of the pieces. So think, one eighth is smaller than one fourth because there are more pieces. And, one, and when you are, have your whole split into eighths, there are more pieces than when you have your whole split into fourths. So we know that three eighths is less than three fourths because there are more pieces. And then that way this, our numerators are the same. So since there are more pieces, we know that there are, that it's less than because there are more units that, that it, um, the whole is divided into. So that makes us know that the 3 eighths is the strawberry, so the strawberries weigh less. Compare 7 eighths and 5 sixths. So think, what is missing from each whole? Well, we know that we have seven out of eight pieces here, so there's only one out of eight missing, okay? Here, we have five out of six, so there's one sixth missing. So we have one eighth missing, and we have one sixth missing. Well, we have the same numerator, so we know that whatever our larger units that it is split into, is our smaller number because there are more pieces which makes it smaller. So we know that one eighth is less than one sixth. So we know now that seven eighths is bigger than five sixths. We are going to compare and write less than, greater than, or equal to, and the strategy that we use to figure it out. Okay, so one half. Do they have the same numerator? No. Do they have the same denominator? No. So we're going to find the missing pieces. So if we have two circles, this one is cut into two halves because there are two holes. This one has three units per hole, so one, those are not equal pieces, Mrs. Douglas, let's try that one more time. There, okay, so we have one half, and we have two thirds. Which one's bigger? Which one has more shaded? Two thirds, right? Okay, so two-thirds is bigger, and what did we use to find that? The strategy we used was missing pieces. Okay, three-fourths and two-fourths. They have the same denominator, so they have the same amount in the whole, which means then we can just compare the numerators. 
Is three bigger than two? Yes, it is. So three fourths is bigger than two fourths. And we used, we compared numerators, so n. All right, let's see. Three eighths and three sixths for number four. So do we have the same numerator? Yes, we do. So then we compare our denominators. Well, we know that this is, that eighths, there are more pieces than sixths, which means that will be smaller. So three eighths is less than three sixths. And we figured this out by the same, oh, I was wrong on this. I apologize, everyone. Number three, we compared denominators, not numerators. And here we compared numerators. I'm sorry for the confusion. Okay, so up here it was denominators that we compared. Down here we compared numerators. All right. For number five, do we have the same numerators? No. Do we have the same denominators? No. So we'll compare missing pieces. So in our whole, we have fourths for the first one. So we're going to cut this into fourths. This one, our whole, we have eight units in our whole. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so three out of four are shaded. And this one, seven out of eight are shaded. All right. So which one's bigger? Which one has more shaded? Seven eighths, right? So three fourths is less than seven eighths. And what did we use? We used missing pieces. Math talk. Make sense of problems. How do the missing pieces in exercise one help you compare seven eighths and five sixths? Well, that's what we did up here. We know that, can you see this? Yes, okay. One sixth is larger than one eighth. So, for five sixths, there is a larger piece missing from the hole. So, seven eighths is larger than or greater than. Five six. You can pause now if you need to to finish writing this down. And then we're gonna move on to page five twenty seven. All right. We are going to compare and write less than, greater than, or equal to and write the strategy we used. Okay, so do we have the same numerator? No. Do we have the same denominator? Yes. So we're going to compare denominators. Oh. Same denominator. Okay. So they have the same denominator. So, because they have the same amount in the whole, do they have, does, is one in our numerator, is one out of two less than two? It is. So one half is less than two halves. 
number seven, one third and one fourth is what we're comparing. Do they have the same numerator? They do. So we are, they have the same numerator. So we are going to compare the denominator. So three is bigger than four. Like the units, one, because there are more units, so there are four units in this one and there are only three in this one, we know that, that one, that one third is bigger than one fourth. Does this have the same numerator for number eight? Two thirds and five six are two and five the same? No. Can we compare the denominator? No. So we're going to find the missing pieces on this one. Okay. So we have, we need to make sure that we have equal parts. So Two out of three are shaded, and five out of six so there's my five out of six and two out of three so which one has more shaded the five out of six right Five out of six has more shaded. So five six is bigger than two thirds. All right. For number nine, four six and four halves. Do they have the same numerator? They do. They have the same numerator. So the bigger number for the denominator knows that it's cut into more pieces, so it's going to be less than. So 4 6 is less than 4 halves. Now we're going to name a fraction that is less than or greater than the given fraction. Draw to justify your answer. Well, a number that's less than 5 6. So if we are going to make 5 6. So one, two, three, four, five out of six equal parts are shaded. We want a number that is less than. So one, two, is that less than? Yeah. So it's the same. We know that they have the same equal parts. So the denominator is six. And our numerator is how many are shaded? So two. So less than 5 6 is 2 6. Greater than 3 8. Well, let's do 3 8. 1 2 3 8. Now let's make another hole that has 8 also. 1 that's still less than Two, that's still less than three, it's equal to there. Four. Well, let's do four eighths. So four eighths is greater than three eighths. Number twelve. Luke, Seth, and Anja have empty glasses. Mr. Gable pours three six cup of orange juice in Seth's glass. Then he pours one sixth cup of orange juice in Luke's glass and two sixth cup of orange juice in Anja's glass. Who gets the most orange juice? Well, we know that Mr. Gable pours three sixths for Seth, so we'll write three sixths over here and that's Seth. We know that one sixth is Luke's, so one Sixth is Luke, and we know that 
two sixths is Andres, so two out of six is Andres. They all have the same denominator. Since they all have the same denominator, we can compare the numerator. So, we know that one is less than two, so we know that Luke didn't have the most. Then, when we compare Anja and Seth's, two is less than three, so Anja had less than Seth. So, because Luke and Anja both had less than Seth, Seth had the most. The last problem that we're going to do is number 13. What's the error? Jack says that 5 eighths is greater than 5 sixths because the denominator 8 is greater than the denominator 6. Describe Jack's error and draw a picture to explain your answer. Well, let's make 5 eighths and 5 sixths. So we're going to do eighths first. So 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 eighths. Then we're going to do sixths. So you want it into equal parts. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So this is 5 eighths and this is 5 sixths. So what we know is we know that the greater denominator means that the pieces are smaller, right? That's what we've been learning the whole time. So a greater, greater denominator means the pieces are smaller. So, eighths are smaller than sixths. Since one sixth is what? One sixth is greater than one eighth. Then five sixths is greater than five eighths because here the numerator is the same, the numerator is the same.